Yeah, 400 people on a Friday. What's good, what's good, what's good, what's good? Spark the spliff, my boy. No smoking in my house, man. No smoking in my house outside. <laughs> Copper GT2 RS. I uh, thought about it, but I'm like, uh, I'm all right. I don't, I don't really want it too much. What up? What up? What up? All right. Quick. All right. Quick thing. All right. Um, we're gonna talk about. Gotta have them. Yeah, rules, man. Yeah, I have a, I have a daughter. Right? No smoking in my house, man. Nah, ne I never have. I, I like to keep it fresh. You know what I'm saying? You come here and it's fresh air. Um, what do you guys think? Uh, damn, live wide, yeah. Why the Ferrari Pista in particular? It's one of the the top cars. It's one of the top cars. You know, like I like top shit, and top. You know, top tier. You know what I'm saying? Can we use the discount right now? Oh God, that's like the worst. Question I seen in a while. Um, there's dates for a reason. You know what I'm saying? But um, question. Well, it's like the argument, right? What do you guys think when it comes to trading, right? Um, nah, there's nothing that really inside the garage right now, just the pista. But um, what do you guys think uh, with trading? Um, percentages or monetary gains? Like what? Like, like what do you guys feel like? Or what do you guys focus on? And I'll tell you like what I focus on. Um, percentages or monetary gain? Tell me. Drop the comments. Drop the comments. I'm making breakfast right now. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. They just getting started. Percentages, 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 percentages. Okay, okay. Monetary gain, okay. Consistency overall, perfect. All right, so percentages to attract future investors. That's the thing. Like, I mean, if if you're the kind of person that's like into investors or getting investors and that kind of shit, then that, that's on you. You know what I'm saying? Like, You, you want to handle people's money versus... I don't like to handle people money. Like I, I like to handle my own money. So when it comes down to it, um, percentages are not always like my main focus. You know what I'm saying, Mickey? I remember on one thirty. Should come in quick. Hold on. Risky, risky, risky. I prefer percentages. Yeah, so, I mean, it's, it's always going to be a personal preference. And um, I feel like when it comes to um, anything in trading, you know what I'm saying? You have, you have to understand it's always going to be a personal preference. Always going to be a personal preference. Like, with anything, you know what I'm saying? With what tools you use, how you use them, um, kind of risk that you, that you want to put on yourself, um, you know, the peers that you trade. It's always going to be a personal preference. All that matters is one thing and one thing only. Is it fucking working? You know what I'm saying? Is it working? Is it working for you? That's what it comes down to. You know what I'm saying? Um, me personally, I don't like percentages too, too much. Um, when it comes to the understanding of if you should close out an order or not, then you could, you, you could think percentages just based off of like, you know, if you have like, let's say a $500 account, but you're up $800. It makes sense. That's why you're closing out because you just, you know, you're up like 60, 70% of your overall account. Like that's, that's sweet. Um, me personally, I like monetary gains, you know what I'm saying? Because when it comes to percentages, like, especially like when it comes to, um, the kind of people that say, Oh, risk 2% a day, risk 1% a day, 3% a day. Listen, people might di di look. People might disagree with this, right? But if you're only trying to risk, if you're only trying to risk three percent or five percent a day, 
you're not going to get to where you want to be straight up. That's it. That's how, that's how I think of it. Huh? I'm telling you, listen, if you're only trying to risk three, three percent or five percent or even one, two, three, three percent, you're not going to get, you're not going to get to where you want to be. As far as you could probably buy groceries with the money that you're making, but you're not going to be able to buy like big shit. Y'all believe that? Y'all better. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's, it's, it's like, like, if you're only willing to risk 3% or, or 2%. Depends on y'all, so. Depends on, uh, depends on the lifestyle, too. And like, it's, the overall look at the market. Because a nigga be talking about, some, I seen a little, uh, little motherfucker risking 3%, but he holding shit for the whole, whole month. Got it. Okay, yeah. So you like swing, 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 swing. Yeah, like full swing. Yeah. So you get like two, three grand at the end of the month. Okay. That's a great and he's one trip. Yeah. Okay. So you're but chilling. He literally got like five hundred dollars in his account. So got it. That's yeah. why you only put a small outside. So that you play yeah. the higher time frame. That makes sense. I mean, tell tell people that real, real, real quick. Nah, a little African Say dude in that WSA man, the motherfucker. He what he does? He trades on the four hour time frame in the daily, but with a low lot size. And I ain't gonna lie, he catch like hundreds of tips. You know, higher time frame. So I'm going to be honest with you. You just got to play. You got to play the long game if you're going to play low. The percentages. Yeah. So it's like, with me personally, I don't really do those small percentages. It's not going to really do anything for me. Um, I like to risk. You know what I'm saying? I like to risk because I know that I could, um, you know, the overall goal is like, if, if you know that you plan on, on risking, you have to be... Good, yeah, precise for one, and you have to also understand that, like you know, there's going to be certain times, like how a, a, a student of Wall Street Academy just posted him on top of a roof. Got, <laughs> he, he got a little job, a little hustle, you know what I'm saying? Because he needs to fund his fucking account, yeah, and like you got to respect that. Because at the same time, like he he could risk on his account now because he has income coming in. If you're not willing to risk, you're not going to fucking get to where you want to be. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Cars, houses, you're not gonna get to fucking get all all them shits if you're not willing to to risk. If you if you're only trying to risk one or two percent, you could pay for groceries or take your, your your girl out to eat or some shit, but you're not gonna be able to like ball out, ball out like how you you know how, like how some people want to. Like that's just how I see things personally. Bigger account, the bigger the risk. Um, I wouldn't even say that. You know what I'm saying? Like at the same time, like even like whenever I'm I'm trading, you know, like um. You know, like my accounts with US thirty and everything. I told you, like whenever I'm trading US thirty, all the standards that I put, I'm willing to risk like ten thousand. Two lots, twenty thousand. Three lots, thirty thousand. But the reward from that, that that that, that one standard lot could make me like thirty thousand dollars. That one two lot could make me like fifty thousand dollars, sixty thousand dollars. Three lots, I never really got good at that one yet. <laughs> I took a hit. I took a hit on, on a three lot. I was like, yo, listen, let me just. Go back Let me just go on two lots again or one lot, and I'm I'm straight with that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, if if you're not willing to risk, then you're not willing to to gain. Simple as that. Green, that's what. Yeah, no, they had no um, yellow ones. I guess it was. Yeah, but the Jamaican stores, like little ones. What if you're trying to build your account? If you're trying to build your account, that's different though. Because like, when you're trying to build your account, like let's say if your account's like $100, you know, a $50 profit or $100 profit, that's sweet because you, now you can go off percentages, you know what I'm saying? But when it comes to like, you know, bigger amounts and that kind of shit, like listen, the, the monetary value is, is sweet because you could be up, you know, whatever percent on a huge account and still be satisfied. Your account could be $300,000 and you're, you're up Let's say four or five thousand. You know, what I'm saying like that. That could pay bills for a long ass time. That could take you on a, on a vacation. It could, it could it could do a lot. You know, what I'm saying like it could do a lot. Question: How do you handle the emotion attachment of, to trading with capital that took you a while to work? <laughs> Hold on. Take care of the money that you, you've been saving for. You've been saving for a while. Oh, don't play with it. <laughs> don't play with it. Yeah, um, hold on. You're scared to lose it. Don't play with it. it hold on, wait. It, it was a good question, Holly. How do you handle your emotional attachment to trading with capital that took you a while? <laughs> um, personally, I mean, 
Put it this way. M money's a tool. You know what I'm saying? You can't hold on to it for too long. So either you're going to work on your skills. So when it comes time to play with that money, you're more um, confident about you know how you plan on handling it. Um, but at the same time, like, don't risk the entire thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, risk, like, a portion of it. Like, if you are saving $5,000, you know, you, you could risk a $1,000. You could put $1,000 on a line and just, like, you know, have that, that fuck type of mentality for that $1,000 versus risking the entire thing. Like, I wouldn't say just, you know, risk your whole, like, life savings, but, bro, you got to risk, man. You got to... Straight up. And, and and like I said, some people might disagree, but results speak, baby. Like, that's what it comes down to. You know, like, those people that are willing to risk, they're not really doing shit. They're really not. They have, like, nothing going on much. Like, you, if you want to actually, you know, break out of that comfort zone or, like, that little barrier, risk your fucking money. You know what I'm saying? Understand how much money you're willing to risk each and every trade. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if I have... A thousand dollar account. I'm willing to risk like two fifty. <laughs> each, each trade, straight up. <laughs> because the reward to that is gonna be sweet. Yeah, you didn't see what somebody wrote earlier. They said like thirty percent. Huh? Like question mark. Not, not, but I understand like my level of skill too. So like like I could risk that and know that I'm gonna hit on like the the, the first like one or two trades. You know what I'm saying? So like that's gonna either um. It's gonna set the tone for the account. Like a thousand dollar account, like I'm, I'm gonna hit, like guarantee. I'm like I know myself good enough. I'm gonna hit on the first one or two trades, and that's what it comes down to. That percentage shit is for the, for the nerds who play it safe. Yo, 100%. Unless you got like a large amount of money, yeah. like 1% or 2%, it's someone else's 100%. Okay, yeah. So, like you said, like if you have a huge amount of money, a person, like your 1% could be somebody's 100%. 100%. You know, so like it's it's really based on, on the situation. But at the end of the day, like if you plan on, on trading or like getting out of that habit of needing your account funded and that kind of shit, like, I'll say just, you know, get to the point that, like, you're working overtime just to make sure that you have some extra income just so you can actually fund that account, like, how you want to fund it. If, if you're not going through that hustle of trying to break that barrier to actually get to a, a different point in trading, then you're not going to get to where you want to be. Like, that's just, like, what it comes down to. And people be fucking scared to risk money. And the people, and remember, the, the people that's telling you to risk 1% or 2%, they're not doing shit. They're not, they're not living like how they want to live, like, and that's like what it comes down to. Why is it only people selling free, uh, selling training in forex, making money out of the market? Not really. That's all that you want to see. At the end of the, the day, um, people can um, make money selling courses and whatnot. By the same time, that's only going to get them so far. You know what I'm saying? Like I said on like a different live. Like how I said on like a different live, like you could sell courses, but it's not gonna get get you to the point that you could buy houses, you, you could buy cars inside a garage, a million dollars of cars. It's not gonna get you that. You have to be also good at trading. You know what I'm saying? People that that that, that obviously sell courses, like they they they're good at what they do. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, some people can train, some people can teach, some people can trade. Not many people can do both. I'm sufficient at both. You know what I'm saying? So at at the end of the day, it's like that's what. If, if you focus on or just pinpoint people that only um, sell courses that make money inside the market also, that's all that you're focused on because you're not focused on the right things. Like You should try to see how you could actually benefit from that person that's selling those things because obviously they have a certain level of knowledge that you don't have. You know what I'm saying? 
Uh, why don't I sell signals? Because I have a life. I'm not going to sit on a phone all, all, all day. <laughs> Straight up, like, I have a life, man. I have, I'm busy in my real life. I'm not going to stay on a computer all day then. You know what I'm saying? Not. Nah. Remember, Drew's in hustle mode, like, right now. So, so he, he has to grind. That's why Drew's doing signals. He has to do all that stuff. He's in hustle mode right now. Me, I'm not in hustle mode right now. Yeah. Catch me back in 2014, 2015, 2016. That was hustle cue. I'm, I'm chilling right now. Yeah, the, the automated signals are actually um, in WSA trade alerts. So. The WSA trade alerts is the automated signal. So, yeah, if you want to get on with that. Yeah. Automated meaning I'm not I'm not doing anything. I remember the the biggest thing the biggest thing um like when it comes to all all this like right here honestly people focus on the wrong things you know what I'm saying people focus on oh he's making money off courses. Obviously, I'm good at what I do. Obviously, I'm good at teaching. Obviously, I'm I'm good at you know explaining you know my products, and obviously, I'm good at trading. So, all being good at all of those things can obviously get you to those higher points. But um, listen, like the people all, all day that I see honestly that that sell courses, but they fucking are not doing shit in real life, and they they're not really good at you know. Trading, but they, but they can be good at teaching. It's it's a different thing. That's why your your professor in college that is explaining business, he don't own a business. He teaches. He doesn't own a business. Though. It's different. Yeah, like when you actually know how to trade, you don't have to stress someone about buying your course because you're good. Regard. Yeah, yeah, like that's why, like you know, I don't ever market like my course. Like people always say, like, oh, like I'm marketing this and that. Like, not, not really. I don't, I don't come on live every single day and just like stress people to, to, to buy Wall Street Academy. If you want to buy Wall Street Academy, fucking buy Wall Street Academy. Why? Because the the results are there, and people that have been following me since 2014, 2015, catching me on like. The whole hustle, the whole grind, the whole everything, they pretty much understand. You know what I'm saying? But people that just came around or whatnot, like, you know, they're, they're only seeing the, the Ferrari and Lamborghini because they're catching me in 2020 because they, they missed out on all the hustle that I did in 20, 2014, 2015. Me trading AU for an entire year, me trading UJ for an entire year, me trading cryptos for a, a good amount of time, me trading um, gold for a little bit. They missed out on, on, on all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy. Why forks? Not stocks? You missed out. I, I used to do stocks like for a little bit when I was 20. 10, 10 years ago. Yo, <laughs> shout out to my boy Eddie, Mad Chink. They don't know the BWQ before the M3. That's what I'm saying. Man. Like, people are just weird, yo. They don't, they don't know. Listen, like the same way how I drive my.
Ferrari and Lambo, listen, and I show it off the same way on how I was showing off my, my VW GTI, my, my, my O2 VW GTI that I bought for $4,000. All on my own. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. Oh, yeah, like, let me try to tell you, let me try to tell you, like, yeah. Crazy. Raul trades to one to three percent. Yes, um, of course. But at the same time, remember his, his dad is also in, in a good position to put him in a good position. So his dad did a lot of the hard work, so he doesn't have to. Not me, you know. what I'm saying I never, I never had that that kind of help. But that's what it comes down to. At the same time, like you gotta, you gotta respect his dad as well because his dad, you know, did his grind in his days. So his downline can also be just as good. You know what I'm saying? It's like saying like, I'm doing all of my grind now. So like when Silver get up of age, she gonna be balling like, what? Come on. And you gotta, and you have to respect that. And you have to respect that. Where's the HQ gonna be at? The HQ is in an undisclosed location. Um, it's not going to be public, you know what I'm saying? I might do a thing like invite probably three people a month to it and that kind of shit, you know what I'm saying? But it's not going to be some of this overall public, public thing. Oh, people don't remember when I was offering FIP on Facebook for $75. Actually, it was $25. FIP started in April 2015, $25 starting in enrollment. And yeah, that's crazy. Can you show the, the location on one of your videos? Not really. Um, I can't even show the location actually, so it's undisclosed. <laughs> crazy. Breakfast, man. Data's getting started. Hit up the range. Do I think open any courses in Spanish? Yeah, I'm um, actually Emil's the one. Emil Trader at Emil Trader is the one that actually does all the Spanish the Spanish classes and that kind of stuff. So he's um on their Wall Street Academy and he focuses on all the, the Spanish students, Hispanic students. Oh, just do another car meet. Um, not right now. Waiting for it to have it. Yo, Chris, send um, send me that screenshot because I don't remember even showing anything like that. Um, <clears throat> can I still buy the courses and the reimburse you when I get when I get the job? <laughs> um. Nah, nah, that's straight. That's straight. What What is the HQ daily operations? Actually, the HQ daily operations is not. It's not anything to do with trading or anything like that. The HQ is literally just going to be a. It's a car showroom for you know future cars that I want to get and that kind of stuff or certain cars that I have now just so I don't keep everything at my house. And um, <clears throat> and then also building uh, a little residential area there too. Um, custom basketball court, a FIP basketball court. Um, with all the brands of FIP on it. Uh, what else? Might have a pool. Um, yeah, she's sh sh just gonna be dope. She's gonna be crazy. The next YouTube video, actually, I'm dropping. I actually walk around the entire um, property and, you know, what I'm saying, show it off. So it's not like a daily operations like type of thing. It's just kind of like you know, go there to have fun and hang out and show pretty much. I could come beat you inside of one on one. I, listen, I'm with it. It's, the the FIP headquarters is going to be a place for, you know, my family, like my close friends, is going to have access to it. You know, so it's going to be dope. What is the best advice I could give someone that's getting discouraged? Look around you, man. Follow people that that 
you know, got what you want. I right? follow people that um, is is living like how you want to live. You know what I'm saying? Like that should that should hype you up. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't feel like you know getting discouraged with so much motivation on Instagram is is even possible. You know what I'm saying? Just, just look around. <laughs> Basically a fantasy factory. Um, I mean, I wouldn't really say like an overall fantasy factory because I mean it's not gonna be like a big ass warehouse. I could do like some random shit. The warehouse stuff is gonna be cars, 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 cars. A car showroom. Um, the outside, the basketball court, the pool. You know, the whole thing is gonna be dope as shit. So. Does WSA teach from the beginning? Yes, um, starting from the beginning all the way to the advanced level. It takes time. Like there's over like 130 hours worth of content on on Wall Street Academy. You know, ever since uh, like all of my webinars that I've ever did ever since 2015 is on Wall Street Academy. Um, you know, and new webinars and that kind of stuff. Are your one-on-one -on -one courses with you? I don't have one-on-one -on -one courses. Period. That's a, that's not even a, an option. And there's no like five day courses um, happening in no time soon, actually. You know what I'm saying? Like I said in my last live. Am I getting the F8 for Buno? Nah. I'm good. But yeah, so overall, hope y'all enjoyed the live. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to holler at y'all. How currently am I active in Wall Street? I'm in Wall Street Academy every single day. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's my main focus point of the entire day, every single day. What's the deal with the five-day course? The five-day courses are uh, kind of like a thing of a past now, honestly. Like, I haven't really been focusing on even doing any more five-day courses because, like I said in my, in my last live, like I said in my last live, um, I put out four uh, four and a half years of my life to you know to give to those people flying everywhere do classes and that kind of stuff 50 60 hour weeks um i feel like i put enough of my time out there so people can actually be sufficient enough to like you know go about it um like i said like at the most i might even do just like one more body course but i mean i'm not really trying to personally um the new generation of traders the new generation of um teachers and that kind of stuff, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got to kind of like, you know, focus on on them, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, like they're, they're fucking weird, they're, they're fucking weirdos, but that's what y'all got to deal with like right now personally, you know what I'm saying? Because I kind of like did my part, I did my part in my niche and that's why like I, I don't mind, you know what I'm saying, people, you know, doing classes and that kind of stuff anymore, like it's, it's what it is, you got to pass down a torch, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I kind of did my part. You know, so people that's starting upcoming, that kind of shit, they could actually do their thing. There's over 70, I think like, we're, I think we're at 70 now, 70 or 69 on Wall Street Academy of the webinars. Yeah, so 69 or 70 webinars on Q&A webinars on Wall Street Academy like right now. Yeah, fucking weebs. Yeah, like the um, new mentors are, are, are fucking weirdos personally. Like, I feel bad. I, I feel bad for y'all, but it's it's what it is. But at the same time, like you, you can still get my attention in time if you're on Wall Street Academy when it comes to like questions or breakdowns or webinars and that kind of stuff. Like, you know, that's still, you know. But yeah, so y'all got to deal with that. So like that's that's something that y'all got to deal with. So I'm going to holler at y'all um, next time on next live. So peace out, peace out, peace out. All right. So there's 68 webinars. So we're close. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're, we're getting there. But I'm holla at y'all. Time to eat some breakfast, get the day started. I'm holla at y'all. Peace.